chapter name is are you an expert all right so let's move on unit 6 are you an expert so as you can see here expert means genius okay the person who is very much intelligent all right so here we have a picture of a girl who is holding something and she is having uh, a coat also she is a kind of nurse or doctor okay or she is doing an experiment she is genius all right and here another one in this helmet this shows that she is also very intelligent and here he is pointing to the brain so he is a expert all right so let's move on all right so in this next one we see he is a camera expert okay so this person is holding a camera all right which shows that he is a good camera man all right and he can click black and white still photos and also color one so things like that a person who is expert in taking photographs we can say he is an expert or he is a camera expert all right let's move on to the next sentence all right so we have next one is there is nothing he doesn't know about okay what is the sentence there is nothing he doesn't know about so till students if you remember in your class so many students maybe are there who raise their hands always whenever the teacher asks them any question so we can tell about them there is nothing they doesn't know about all right let's look into this picture here a person this one is yes okay so person is saying yes i know if a teacher is asking do you know about this question or about the answer of this question so every time these kind of students say yes and here also students are raising their hands okay so another sentence we have look today there is nothing he doesn't know about all right so let's move on children all right so we are on uh, another sentence that is he knows school inside out so what he he knows or she knows the school inside out so children the keyword here which we are learning today that is inside out this word is used for the buildings okay if you know about any building let's say your building in which you are living in or your house you know about that place inside out means everything you know about it the main gate the exit gate the entrance gate the rooms the uh, the floors the terrace all right everything the where is every room there is bedroom drawing room kitchen all right so guest room so you if you know everything about a particular building you we can say you know about that building inside out all right yes let's move on to the next one here is the picture also children i have shown a uh, uh, that a picture of a school big building and this is the map in this map we are having a gate in entrance gate and that we are having park uh, then floors the rooms this one is garden so everything we know about so we can say she knows inside out about this whole building all right let's move on all right children so another is you wouldn't believe what he knows about you wouldn't believe what he knows about all right so here we can say to someone if someone do not believe that uh, suppose if you tell to your friend or your brother or sister do you know i know very very well english i know the word inside out for the buildings i know the word expert i know the word genius but your brother or sister or friend don't believe you okay but afterwards what he notice 
or what he observed that you know everything so we can say and another friend tells to your friend who do not believe you that friend is telling about you you won't believe what she or he knows about all right all right so let's move on this is the another sentence so in the next sentence we see all right children this is my favorite one of my favorite slide which is and also a favorite sentence or a phrase that is he is a walking encyclopedia or she is a walking encyclopedia now you must be thinking that what is encyclopedia encyclopedia is kind of big book in which so much of information like dictionary and about so many topics are there so that book we call encyclopedia all right so it's a knowledge knowledgeable book children so if a person is very much intelligent all right he knows so much about uh, so many things then we can say he is walking encyclopedia what you will say he is or she is walking encyclopedia yes all right so here we see this uh, man is walking continuously with the book we can tell about him is a walking encyclopedia all right if you remember this girl is in harry potter movie hermione granger she knows everything about magic spells so we can tell about her she is a walking encyclopedia all right and so on you can see the books over there in the library these books in which they are like a dictionary we can tell these these are actually encyclopedia but we are using for persons who are so much intelligent and they know everything about all about all right almost everything all right let's move on all right so in the next slide children we see photographies his subject so if you see this photo is a, a photo of a book all right and here three photos and a b c apple and maybe this is a book geometry and uh, a bag because we also have and a clock chemistry acids so if you guys are interested in english and you know all about english or if you guys are interested in science and you know all about science then we can say science is your subject or english english is your subject all right so your subject particular subject in which you are expert or genius we will tell particular that subject let's say english english is your subject all right i hope you are understanding well let's move on all right children let's see to the next slide here it is that is also one of my favorite and very very important all right that is he knows from a to z or a to z so children maybe you are thinking now what is a to z a to z children means everything okay from the beginning to the end let's say uh, about mathematics you know each and every formula each and every calculation all right what is minus minus that is plus all right so these kind of things you know every calculation then we can say you know about maths a to z all right a to z doesn't mean that a b c d that one no 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 it's not that but it is that one means everything in the universe or in the uh you know in the world so here we have a illustrative picture very interesting that is of einstein albert einstein he discovered uh e is equal to mc square formula all right and he was 
very much interested in physics or in science let's say so we can say about him he knows or he knows about science from A to Z all right all right so then let's move on to the next one all right so we are having the another one that is he's an authority on digital camera okay i now remember someone uh, some student i think in the lab in the class online class she was asking about sir what is the meaning of authority authority means student uh, a kind of a boss okay i have uh, i am a boss on uh, to my uh, in my office so i have a power to call some of my colleagues or my workers and to tell them what to do or not to do so i am a boss to them so authority means in this sentence is also same okay let's let's move on you will understand uh, better he is an authority on digital cameras suppose you are knowing so much about cameras how they work how they how you can click video how you can click uh, pictures how you can make so many things out of the camera okay so we can say your boss in camera or your authority in cameras all right or digital cameras we can also say all right so this is the sentence children uh, have a look on this picture a person is sitting and another person is standing so he's a boss okay and he is telling this person to do or what to not to do so he is a boss so authority he is a authority person in the office all right from which we can take orders or work got it yes now let's move on to the next one so children uh, here we are in the next one that is a conversation between chris and ben so here we are we are having two friends named chris and ben so let's see what they uh, are having for us so they are having a very nice thing so chris says to ben hey ben how are you so let's say this is a chris and he's saying to ben how are you how are you today how are you today how are you next so next one here now what chris replies hey to the chris actually hey chris i'm good thanks how are you so now the other friend is saying waving the hand or shaking the hand saying hey chris i'm good how are you what about you all right yes so next one so in the next children we we'll see yes i'm good too thank you okay so the first person who started the conversation he say i'm good too thank you all right next so in the end we will see the sentence children but we for what we have watching this one so the first friend is saying uh, to chris is saying have you heard selena gomez new song or let's say have you heard any punjabi singer new song okay so what your friend will tell yes so likewise in this also ben is saying yes i did all right he's saying yes good job yes i did i uh, really like that song actually and it does ring my bells all right so he listened the song okay let's move on let's move on now here i know right we can really relate to it so other friend is saying i know right we can really relate to that song it means they really like that song all right all right so let's move on so here all right so what he says about the singer i mean it's obvious though she knows everything about music so what the friend is saying it is obvious she knows everything about music what she knows everything all right so do you remember 
uh, any particular word which we use for everything that is a to z all right let's see Yeah, so I cannot deny that her lyrics are very good. So now, this one. Since she knows the A to Z of music, I do not miss her new song. So the word we were looking for, or the conversation was all about the word that is everything. Okay, so we will not use A to Z. Alright, so whenever you want to tell about or whenever you want to use the word called everything, you can use A to Z. Alright, let's say in exams or in unit tests, your parent, uh, parents are asking to you, do you know about the syllabus? You will tell, I know A to Z about the syllabus. Okay. Now let's, uh, one more example, let's see. Do you know about the timing of the online class? You can say, I know about timing. I know A to Z about the timing. A to Z means everything. All right, hope you are understanding well, children. I really want to encourage you to learn and practice these sentences. So why we are learning uh, so many sentences so that you can use them. Let me give you an example. If you use only one particular word or one particular sentence every day, every time, then it means you are having only this much knowledge. But if you are using different type of sentences, okay, let's say expert word is there. But in the next sentence, you are using genius word, okay? In the third sentence, you are using another particular word or uh, which the meaning which can be the same. So it shows you are having a lot of knowledge of English language. All right. So I hope you are understanding well. And for more questions and queries, you can feel, you can ask me and feel free to ask any question all right so see you in the next video or online class till then take care i wish you very happy learning ahead bye bye